Welcome to Unveiling Beauty. I'm Anna Manukin and I'm your host today. We are talking about all the things you need to know about choosing the right hairspray, about choosing the right texture spray. And I'm joined by none other than my good friend, David Lopez. Follow me for the conversation. Today's conversation is all around getting the perfect, beautiful, bouncy style. And with me today is none other than David Lopez. David. Hi. 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 I'm leave you a hug. I, okay, but seriously, <laughs> give me a hug. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a one of my favorite people in my life in general. If you do not oh, know this person, yeah. you absolutely need to know him because to know him is to truly love him. Not only are you on the Ulta Beauty Pro team, not only are you just an exemplary human being in general, you're a content creator, you're a brand ambassador, you are um, a hair beauty enthusiast. You are an educator. Like there's so many things that you do incredibly well. Um, and you're a true creative and a true artist. And so I'm so excited for the conversation today. I know we're talking about some incredible Kenra Styling products. Um, and I'm just so happy to have you here and to have you share with our audience some of the latest tips and tricks and what's going on in the world of beauty and hair. Oh, well, thank you so much. Obviously, wow, that's like the multi hyphenate world of being a creative today in 2024, which is a lot. But you know, after my time on the on the pro team, and then obviously working with Kenra, and then the brands that I work with, um, I'm so excited to share some of my tips, my secrets, and why I've been using Kenra for over 10 years now in my career, which is like so wild to think about. So when you think about hair, when we think about the moment, you know, I know we talk a lot about beauty in general, but when we think about the moment that hair is having over the last, you know, let's say over the last 18 months, what are some of the things that you're seeing just from like, really from like a glam transformation standpoint? I think what is happening is a couple of things. I think people are, first of all, prioritizing hair health. You're seeing that a lot, not only just in color trends, people coming back to their natural color, richer colors, richer blondes, less ashy, more golden, coppers and reds, the cherry cola. All these colors for me really signify something that people are wanting to see, which is again, the hair health. They want to see that reflection. They want to see that yeah. shine. Then the other thing I think I'm seeing a lot of is kind of similar to other periods in time where the world is going through a lot of things. People use their hair as sort of um, this way to signify sometimes what who they are, mm -hmm. what their beliefs are, who they hang out with, who their crew is, you know, these are my people. They, they really can use their hair to make a sort of statement about what they believe in and who they are and how they live their life, which I think is like, such an incredible way to use your hair as this kind of social commentary and accessory. I love that. I love that. And you know, we do say the hair is the accessory that you never take off, yeah. right? It's well, sometimes the crown. I take mine off. Sometimes. Well, it's, yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is also true. But it really is a crown that that yeah. is you know that that uh, always makes you feel your best yeah. when you know what to do with it. So, talk to me a little bit about your inspiration and like the beauty industry and your inspiration with working with a brand like Kenra. Yeah, I mean, the, the history with Kenra is so interesting because I met the brand when I was kind of like really peaking in sort of like fashion editorial world. Mm -hmm. I live in New York City and I had signed to my agency and I met a publicist who, Jane Morehouse, who just actually won an award actually at um, a hair show we were at. She introduced me to the brand and was like, hey, they're launching their color and they're wanting someone to come style the campaign. And I joined them and I had never used the products. This is actually a, more than 10 years ago now. And I fell in love with the efficacy of the product. So just what I do for just being someone that predominantly styles hair day in mm -hmm. and day out, between the volume mousse, which gives me all the fullness I'm looking for, and then the volume spray, which if you know, you know, the volume spray is truly an iconic product for them. So what if you don't know? If you don't know, uh, the hairspray really to like dominate all hairsprays, it really is just a product that I've relied on time and time again. Anyone from like Astro Graham, Haley Bieber, Chrissy Teigen, my clients, red carpets. It gives me exactly what I want from a hold of a hairspray mm -hmm. that is very strong, but never gets crunchy, never gets sticky, never gets flaky. It's still always touchable and buildable. Mm -hmm. So for me, I mean, I've used a million hairsprays and there are a lot that I love and love, but volume, volume spray 25 is I think a hairspray that will forever be in okay. my kit. Okay. Okay, love that. Love, yeah. love that. So let's talk about hairsprays for a second because for those of you watching at home, maybe you're a hairspray enthusiast. Maybe you're like, okay, if I think of hairspray, I think of like slicking something back or what I don't want my hair to move. And the reality is, is that knowing how to properly like work a hairspray can absolutely change your style game. Yeah. So from a 
client standpoint, from a consumer standpoint, what should we know about how to choose the right spray? Which one's the best for you? Like, do I want volume? Do I want hold? Do I want brushability? Do I want it really like to be able to sleep yeah. my hair back? How do I even start? Well, it's just so interesting because I have so many clients and I think if you're a stylist watching this or even you probably are this person that's like, I don't know hairspray, I don't want hairspray because you think of hairspray as being something that's going to maybe like make it too stiff or sticky. But as you know, like it is really like kind of the cherry on top. It's yeah. kind of like a setting spray. Yeah after all the work you've done. So think of it that way. I think when it comes to what you want to choose from a spray that you're gonna put into your hair, um, I recently did style a campaign around five of the most popular sprays that Kenra has. So it's called the Spray, Slay, Repeat campaign, which is very- Slay, apropos. Spray, Repeat. Spray, Slay, and Repeat. Spray, Slay, Repeat. Heavy on the slay, okay. honestly. Okay. So we have five of the most popular hairsprays here, but I feel like let's start with the most popular, which okay. is probably gonna be volume spray. Okay. Volume spray is a super hold finishing spray, and it also has in the Kendra line, there are numbers. So okay. the number on it really designates how high the hold is. So the lower the number, the lower the hold. So if I'm using a 25, mm -hmm. 25 is going to give me a lot of hold, a significant amount of hold, starting from a comparison of zero well, or like one. I think like a zero or a three. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so that's a good visual for that. And then is this something that could, would I be able to use it? Absolutely, you could use it to sort of finish off your hair. So okay. for example, you have waves, let's just do a little demo. Okay, let's do it. So you have the waves, and so you wanna create that kind of like, it's like the hair that looks like it's in a photo kind of floating out a little yes. bit. So you wanna pull out these waves a little bit. And okay. these are like what my clients call my angel hands, my angel fingers. You kind of just gently pull it out a little bit. And then you wanna spray the hairspray in place like that. Just let it sit for a second and it will hold it out just like that. So you get that little bit of lift. I will give you an insider tip, okay? When brands develop a hairspray and they decide what's this piece is gonna be, it's called the actuator or okay. the nozzle. It's very intentional when they say, it says here on the back, um, eight to 10 inches, right? Okay. That is for a reason, because that is the optimal hold you're going to get for that hairspray. So if I'm gonna use it myself, because mm -hmm. you know what, sometimes like it's easier to do it yourself. Yeah. So if I, yeah. okay, so match me here. Uh huh. And okay. then just kind of zhuzh it out a little bit. So angel fingers, we're uh -huh. gonna do this. Bit, like angel fingers. Fingers. And then while you're letting it drop, okay. just slightly short bursts of hairspray. Just some short bursts. Yes, yes. Wait, and it's I'm just, holding it. Be, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. let's see. We're angeling away. Uh huh. And then a little bit more. And then let it drop. Okay. Amazing. See how you got a little close? The closer, oh. Oh, there she's she there. is. Okay. She's lifted and she's full okay. and she's slaying and she's about to repeat it. Okay. <laughs> so what's interesting about that too is that if I wanna show you a visual, I wish I could see. Cause so when you spray it, the optimal area is like where it starts to dissipate. So you can see it's like right around here. Okay. You're at that eight to 10. Okay. The further away the light of the hold's gonna be, the closer. That's a good tip the more kind of extreme and, ha and harder and more wet it's going to be. So for anybody, because you know, I mean, I'm guilty of this all the time or my hair is guilty of this all the time. If I do a slick back yeah. and then I have like one hair that like just will not, then yeah. I want to do a closer, right? Can, then Oh, what you could do uh -huh. is you can just spray onto your fingers okay, and then you can just knock it down. Okay, That way you have a much more concentrated version of the okay. hold. Because if you spray close like this, you're going to have like a glob of hairspray there. So closer concentration basically, yes. got it. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Exactly. So let's say that you are looking for something. Oh, this is perfect. We are in Texas and it's very humid today. This is the anti-humidity spray. So you're gonna notice that uh, this one has a five. So okay. very, very minimal hold. This is another great sort of like setting spray. Think of it that way. Okay. For when you're in a humid area. So those of you in Florida or in the South or anyone very humid, this is a great thing to do after a blowout. You spray, it's very, very light. I'm gonna spray it in your hair. I mean, listen, spray let's away. Just, let's I, spray we said we're gonna repeat it. So yes, we're gonna repeat it. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of the anti-humidity spray just over the whole thing. Okay. And imagine this just kind of locking well, out that humidity really nice. and it smells lovely. It's very, very light. It kind of has really no finish in the hair. It's okay. just very, so even if you have very fine hair, you this can is still use it. Okay. Yeah. Do you always use that on dry hair? You always use it on dry hair. I mean, I am like definitely the hack king. I'm like, what happens if you blow dry it in? But I know that Kenra working with their development team, they're so purposeful about their ingredients and the choices that they make. So, and this is important for people to know, there's so many hacks that you can try out there, but be mindful that the efficacy of the product is really based on the instructions that are on the back and even the bottle and everything like that. It's so intentional. I always encourage people to play, yeah. nothing bad's gonna happen, right. but you might not get the same efficacy if you try it 
on okay. the hair. But you can definitely try. If you do want to do that though, uh -huh. to block humidity, I think blow dry spray, which is another like if you know, you know product. This is great at humidity blocking, heat protection, and moisture all in one. It's a beautiful product. And this is the blow dry spray. This is blow dry spray. Okay. This is the one that I think most people when they come up to me at hair shows or they DM me like, oh, I love blow dry spray and the scent. People are obsessed and with the scent. This goes on, on damp hair. It goes onto damp hair and you blow oh, this, right in. Oh, this is fantastic. It's okay. so That's lovely very good. on your hair. It would be a dream. It gives so much beautiful shine. I'm going to actually show you a hack. I do have a hack for this. I'll show you later. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Let's see. So we've talked about the volumizing one. We talked about the thermal protection. What's the one with the red cap? There we so go. So this is color maintenance thermal spray. So we're looking at an 11, which is fantastic. Okay. It's a great, I would say, lower to medium hold. Color maintenance spray was specifically designed for those of you that color your hair. Okay. So if, especially if you are blonde where you feel like your toner kind of goes out. Now tell us why, why would, yeah. because it's all topical. So like, why would that matter? It is matter? topical. So essentially heat styling in general, mm -hmm. as you know, as a hairstylist, that makes the color molecules kind of shrink and disappear. So if you ever flat ironed like blonde hair mm -hmm. and it goes from like being neutral to like yellow. Yes. You know, that kind of vibe. Even uh -huh. your hair, it's very, very vibrant that over time, heat can kind of start dulling out that color. It just really affects those color molecules. So color maintenance was developed to really protect the color in the hair, but also give you thermal protection okay. up to 450 degrees. So not that you should be using it at 450. I was gonna say, never, never use 450. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you are, you got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> so I would say that this is a great option for every day. But the other thing I love about it is that I always compare hair being a fabric and if you are anything like me that irons your clothes, I love to use a starch when I yeah. iron my clothing because uh -huh. it gives that style memory or that memory on the clothing. So what's interesting about this is that I think this kind of product really is the secret to anyone that has ever uttered the words, I curl my hair, but it does not last. Yes. I hear that so All much. All the time. All the time. So the color maintenance thermal spray, while yes, it's developed with people who color their hair in mind, mm -hmm. Even if you don't, this is going to be that starch on the fabric of your hair before you curl it. Okay. It's going to give you a little bit more style longevity. Could you use that if you're like using a flat iron or? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Great for a silk press. Okay. So what I would say is like put a little bit of oil okay. and then this and then flat iron. Okay. It's going to give you the smoothest finish because the That's oil the okay. gives you the moisture. The hairspray gives that hold and that like crisp finish that you're okay. looking for that's going to last. So oil, so I, okay, so if I'm starting from scratch and if I want a really sleek, like yeah. li really sleek blowout or a, or a flat iron, then I'm gonna use the the spray first. Yep. The spray first. Blow dry spray. Blow dry spray, mm -hmm. we're gonna throw that in, we're gonna blow dry it out. Yep. Then I'm going to use an oil of choice. Yep. Go through Into that. Into the mid lengths and the ends. Then I'm going to spray that directly over. And then flat, I would and actually flat spray it on each section before you flat iron it. Okay. It's going to be like such a delicious combination okay. and give you such a glass like finish, which is like, the key thing that you want to do when you are doing looks like that. It yes. has to look like glass. It that's, has to look like glass. That's, and that's the gonna way it's going to like pop off. Okay, so that's give, that gives, that an oil gives glass. Perfect. And then one last one here is our, oh, of course, dry texture spray. I mean, dry texture spray, which is not that one, which is right here. So dry texture spray, which is at a, sitting at a six, obviously very low. So I love a good texture spray. I was gonna spray. ask, I, was like, I you do. love a texture spray. I love a texture spray. And I feel like that sometimes you either, like if you know, you know, and you love it, or yeah. people are like, what is a dry texture spray? And why do I even, where do I even start using it? Yeah, I actually think this is one of their top performing sprays. Um, dry texture sprays, sometimes for some people might feel a little bit sticky, mm -hmm. but dry texture sprays, when especially when you know how to work them, are really the answer to having a style that holds and maintains its kind of memory without ha having to resort to maybe an actual hairspray like volume spray. So if you are averse to using, I don't want hairspray, I don't want the hold of a hairspray, but you're still looking for style memory, dry texture spray is going to be your bet. Because, so tell us how to use that. So dry texture sprays are interesting. They come out in very short, short and hard and fast bursts. So you have to be like very mindful yeah. when you're using it. So remember what I told you about the actuator, uh -huh. this piece here. So around here, this is the sweet spot. Any okay. closer, it's gonna feel a little bit wet. Okay. Okay. And then, which is sometimes if you have more dense hair. Mm, and it very has dry. A, it has a very dry powdery finish. Some of the other ones that I've used on the market have almost like a waxiness mm -hmm. to them. This one's very dry. Very dry. And there's not a there's not any stickiness to it no, at all. That's no. fantastic. It immediately dissipates into the hair. So this is a great one. I'm gonna actually show you on uh, my model in a second also how I love to use this. It's just a great finisher. It's great to add fullness. If you have very fine hair, mm -hmm. 
amazing product to just make you feel like you have a little bit more like density to it okay. as well. Okay. It's I amazing. love that. Let's see it on the model. Okay. Let's bring out my lovely friend over here. Come on out. Okay. So we did one of my techniques that I uh, recently posted on Instagram and it went pretty viral, which was four ways to use a curling iron. And it was interesting because what I did was showcased how to use a 1.25 inch curling iron in multiple ways. And the ripple wave was the first one. So what I decided to do was to just use the ripple wave completely on her hair. I'm gonna turn you all the way around so pretty. to the back and then look up towards the ceiling for me. So this is that really lived in finish. Very, very lived in, it's ripply. And in the technique that you've seen the video, people really like just loved the idea of using this technique in a different way. And I did her whole entire head with this technique. So now I want to finish it off and I want to create this. For all intents and purposes, I feel like the beachy wave has had its moment and she's ready to retire. Um, so I feel like what is the new generation of that? It feels a little bit more tighter, smaller, mm -hmm. less kind of bouncy. And then I'm going to use the dry texture spray to add a little bit of hold and fullness. So look up at the ceiling for me. What you wanna do when you're using it is you kinda of wanna massage your scalp while you're using it. You wanna lift up your hair just like this and get it all into the inner workings of the hair. So you're actually getting it like in, in. Yeah, you wanna to really get it in there. You don't want it to just be sitting on top. You want it to be living on the inside. And especially for this area here, if you wanna turn around for me, especially in this area here in the fringe section where I feel like a lot of people, they have like, it's always falling in my face, mm -hmm. but I don't wanna use a hairspray. This is great. A dry texture spray is gonna give you that hold and it's gonna just kind of like lock itself into place. Even if it falls in your face, you can just push it back. It's gonna have that little bit more of that grit, which I really love. So you can see how it's kind of just standing up on its own. It's kind of wanting to have that fluffiness mm -hmm. the entire time. Now, Gorgeous. let me show you my hack on blow dry smells spray. So good. Oh, it I smells. Smell this. It smells so if good. If this was smell -o vision it would be delicious. Okay, so turn around this way for me and look up again. So one of the things I love about true beach waves, so say you went to the beach and uh -huh. you let your hair air dry, mm -hmm. you have the texture of the sand, which, hello, dry texture spray. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the kind of like sweat and the oiliness of your suntan lotion. And that's where the ends get very PC. Now, because blow dry spray is, it's not an oily product, but when you spray it onto dry hair, it gives kind of that finish mm -hmm. at the same time. So I'm gonna spray it onto her hair dry as a finisher and look immediately look it creates that, that texture in look the hair at that shine though yes. too yes and if you are afraid of it being too heavy which it's not i promise so there's also blow dry mist which is a slightly lighter formula spray it onto your hand and then take a little bit of volume spray okay spray mix them together the volume spray is going to kind of like dry out the blow dry spray a little bit and you can squeeze it into the hair and then you're gonna get a lot of texture. And now it just looks very nice and healthy yeah. and PC and like lived in and like, it has that finish that we know and love from true beach hair. And I did, um, I did Victoria's Secret. I worked with Sports Illustrated models, Chrissy Teigen a lot. And this was always the finish whenever we would do the Sports Illustrated campaigns or the press tours, they always wanted this hair. So I had to get really good at it it's at one point because it always was like that one little detail of the ends being a little bit PC. So blow dry spray is a great option that's for that. That's a really my good little hat. Yeah, so that's so pretty. I love that. So let's turn you around and give you a big finish. Bring it to the front. Gorgeous. And then what I like to do, and you can do this too when you're at home, as opposed to like, I mean, a lot of people do this naturally. You want to tilt out your body. And let's say we're going to use the perfect medium spray. This is a true, true medium hold spray. It's a 13. Okay. So what I'm going to have her do is tilt out to the side. And then this is the nice finisher. Just a little bit of perfect medium. Other side. Just like that. You see the little angel, the little angel fingers are going. Gorgeous. And now we have these really beautiful waves that really feel like so contemporary, so, so now. Good. And a lot of people want to have that feeling that feels very, for all, oh, I guess, natural, but doesn't feel It doesn't undone. feel overdone. No, exactly. It, yeah. But still looks healthy and it's, still looks kind of like composed. In yes, a way. yes. So gorgeous. gorgeous. Look at that. Let's get a clean shot of that hair. Show it off, girl. She sprayed, she slayed, and she repeated, and she won. And she absolutely Incredible. won. Thank Fantastic. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, David, thank you so much. That was 
So, so many tips. So I many know. tips. Okay, so one last question. If okay. you were to send me home with like two products that I need to choose for the rest of my life to have like good <laughs> hair like that, what would they be? For the rest of your life. Okay, well, well I will say. For the, rest, for the rest of like the, the year. For I don't know. For the rest of, of the season. There we go. For the rest of 2024. Um, I will say that um, I think foundationally, I think hair care is actually one of the most important things that people can add to their routine. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, again, just because, like, I say hair is a fabric, you have a care label for yeah. your fabrics. So imagining how you wash your hair, how you care for your hair, how you condition it, it's very important. Um, I would say the amount of heat styling that does happen, color treatments, I would say that um, some sort of bonding treatment, which is, you know, very popular right yep. now. It's extremely yep. popular. But... I would say that something like this, like we have, uh, Kenra did launch the triple repair, okay. which goes after all three bonds that are affected okay. by heat styling, by brushing, um, by even just daily, like just putting your hair into a ponytail. Yeah. So the way that hair is made up of all these bonds, they kind of break and break down over time, which leads to splitting, hair breakage, dulling of the hair. So what I like about this is that not only does it have the shampoo and the conditioner, but you also want to have a treatment. So there's also the serum as well, which helps to kind of, mend the split ends. Now there's no magic cure for split ends. It's it's technically a band-aid. Yep. Cut them off. Do you know what I mean? Yep. At some point, cut it off. But in the meantime, having something like this overall is really gonna improve all the efficacy of all the styling and everything else that you do. So hair care is number one. Yep. Spray wise, well I think you I think you were kind of slaying the I don't know y'all, should we put up a little poll on the screen here? What were you slaying the most with? I honestly feel like mm, it's a hard decision. It's a no. hard decision because I feel like you could use so many of them. But I th okay, it might be between anti-humidity. You do love a dry texture spray. I do love a dry texture spray. I think you would get the most out of the dry texture spray. Okay. So. All right, let's do it. That's that's the winner. Dry that's the winner. The that's win. the winner. Yeah. Fantastic, David. Thank you so much. I'm putting this in my pile over here. I'm gonna have to get some more products <laughs> yeah. over my just, pile. Uh, just a couple just, more. Just just move them over. Thank you so much. Always thank so you. incredibly educational and so insightful. And uh, thank you so very much for being here with us. And for those of you watching, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to try any of these incredible Kenra products, please visit your local Ulta Beauty or visit Ulta.com to get your very own Kenra hairspray. Because you know what, spray slay repeats all the things <laughs> get ready to spray and repeat that's right thank you so much and we'll see you soon bye